What up, guys? Yeah, we got another Oktoberfest beer. And today we'll be doing Goose Island Oktoberfest, the pride of Chicago, and now brewed in New York and Fort Collins. Let's crack this open. I like, it's a very clean blue label. It's very, very, very to the point. But anyways, let's get this going. All right, it's got a nice, almost apple juice color to it. Nice golden coppery, and it's definitely a nice copper color to it. And they take they tell you all the information you might want to know right on the label. I mean, it's clear, it's clean, it's right there. I like this label because. It's not, it's not dicking around and tells you everything you need. It's an Oktoberfest, German style, style Marzen, 23 IBU, 5.7 alcohol by volume. It's a lager. Traditional multi festive. Don't you forget, it's festive. Damn it, it's festive. So, but yeah, everything, I mean, say what you will about being owned by Budweiser and all that stuff now. I can't knock that label. Every, I mean, I wish more labels just told you everything you need to know. That would make things so much easier. So thank you, Goose Island, for that. But uh, all right, we got it all poured. Let's get in the review, get into the smell. There's actually not a lot of smell to it. Maybe a very subtle hint of vanilla, maybe, like very hidden. But I am getting almost no smell to it. Like. Yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting nothing. There is literally no aroma to this beer. I mean, okay, I got, there is maybe a bit of like a nutty apricot, maybe. But it, again, it's so subtle and so light. You're gonna be shoving your nose completely into it. I mean, there's no head, there's no carbonation, so there's not really much of anything pushing the smell up. It doesn't stink. <laughs> But I'm gonna give it a half on aroma. I just can't smell anything really. And I just had two other ones and I can smell those fine. So my nose is working. Uh, so I, I'm gonna give it a half. There's just not much of a of aroma to it. But uh, all right, let's uh, get into the rest review and get into the taste. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, all right, this is the first probably this is the third Oktoberfest beer I've had. It's probably the first that really gives me that Oktoberfest just taste that I've been looking for. I, I did one from Brooklyn and I did the Paul Anner Oktoberfest Weizen, but that wasn't that. It's more of like a lighter, uh, that's, October, that's basically Oktoberfest light because it's more uh, Pilsnery wheat beer. So that, is, that didn't really have the Oktoberfest taste that you know I'm looking for. And the other German beers, they haven't really come out yet. So, but this, so this is the first of the three that really features that, that, that taste that I'm looking for. That welcome to fall kind of thing. Like summer's over, we're getting into that fall time beer. <laughs> There is um, very subtle nuttiness, almost like a like a light, an unsalted cashew. Like very subtle on that nuttiness. That vanilla I was saying that I was getting a, that I thought I might have been getting a note of the. It's not really a thing. You got a bit of that maltiness, a bit of that 
that like like raisiny apricot um, sweetness to it. Almost like a little bit of bit of like a molasses with that apricot um, thing. This is definitely um, if you're looking for. I mean, it, it makes sure you know that this is an Oktoberfest beer. It doesn't go lighter. I know some of the some of the margins I've had the. Uh, it's almost uh, some of them. They just uh, they give you like a hint of it, and then, then the taste is done. This is a taste that's gonna stay with you the entire time you're drinking it. Like I can still taste the beer. It's not in and out. So it's mostly the tip of my tongue. Of course, that's the thing that I find, like when you're drinking beer, how often do you let the beer just kind of sit in your mouth and your entire tongue just get like a completely um, absorbed into the beer? Because a lot of times, you know, when you're just drinking it, it kind of like it hits the tip of your tongue maybe first half, then it, by the time, like it doesn't have any time to hang out on the back end. Just like half your taste buds aren't able to experience it. I find when it gets to the back portion of my tongue, that nuttiness kind of transfers into almost like a, almost like an almond kind of thing, like a salted almond. So it, it I definitely have more of that, the nuttiness, if I let the beer just kind of hang out and soak into the back end of my tongue, I definitely get more of that. But I'm liking it. Um, I think by the end of me having as many Oktoberfest beers as I can, I think I'm gonna have ones that I like better for taste-wise, but for the time being, in terms of just straight Oktoberfest beers so far, mm -hmm. taste-wise, I like this one the best so far for that particular style. So yes, I am gonna recommend it on taste. Um, all right, next category is value for price. And yeah, I mean, I bought this it was less than two bucks so even though i mean yeah it is in uh i i mean a lot of these beers they don't they are not telling you that this is uh ab InBev any longer i either they assume that you already know or they just maybe it's probably in the box i'm sure but i mean a decent beer is a decent beer whether InBev screws it up or not um i think this it still tastes pretty good and the price as long as they don't screw around with the, the, the taste and the price then I'm, I'm good with that and this is under two bucks can't really go wrong with uh, under two bucks for the beer so i will recommend it for a value for price um all right next category is distinction how distinct is it I mean, mm, there's nothing that, there's no like tastes or aroma, I mean there's no aromas really, there's no real tastes that necessarily set apart all that much, It's but it's pretty well done. So it, it tastes like something that, that's, they've obviously been refining it every year. I mean, Goose Island has been around for a while and it's, it was one of the, you know, best done micro beers at the time and thus why Anheuser-Busch picked it up and <laughs> swooped in and picked it up. Um, it's got a, if you guys get the glass, let me know if it's like, there's like all these raised bumps on it. It almost feels like, you know, I don't know if it's like a Sprite, the glass bottles that have like the, the like the, uh, like the dimples that go all the way up and down. It almost has that kind of thing. I don't know if I just got a defect or something or beer for Braille. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but distinction, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's pretty well done for what it is. It's, I mean, it, it's hard to make an Oktoberfest, a traditional style which they say traditional 
it's hard to make a traditional style Oktoberfest really stand out because you can't really start adding like bananas and over hopped and like pineapple flavors and it is not traditional anymore so it's hard to make it stand out you basically the way you make it stand out is you just make it good that's your only option and this is this does pretty well with that so i will recommend it for um distinction uh all right next category is drinkability i'm gonna i'm gonna um admit so comparing this oktoberfest that's at 5.7 percent abv with the um paul anner oktoberfest uh Barzen, which is at 6%, the uh, Paul Anner is much easier to drink. It goes on smoother, it's crisper, it doesn't have a lingering aftertaste. This one, if you were to drink both of them next to each other, you'd probably guess this one had a higher ABV by the way it tastes. And it, it just doesn't drink as smoothly. That's not necessarily bad, but it's just not something that you can probably drink as quickly if that's what you're going for. So, um, it drinks fine, but you're gonna, this is almost a kind of, you're gonna nurse it a little longer while you're drinking it. So I'm gonna give it a half for the drinkability aspect. Uh, all right, next, last category is what I buy it again. And I mean, so far, in the really the, the pre-German release Oktoberfest beers, this is the best one I've had so far. Now I haven't had the the brand new um, Sam Adams. Usually Sam Adams almost like leads the charge for when seasonals come out. I haven't had that one yet um, because I've had it every other year. But I should probably probably get that again just so I can re uh, check that one out. But so far, for all the all of them, which is three um, that I've had so far, this is uh, probably the best tasting just Oktoberfest style beer. And um, so, at least at this particular moment in time, this is be the this will be my default Oktoberfest beer until I get one that I like better. So, as of right now, yes, I will be buying it again. Um, as I've said in some of the other videos, it really, since Oktoberfest is such a short period of time, you don't have a lot of leeway to jump around and like have all these different Oktoberfest beers a million different times. You kind of just gotta, <laughs> you gotta, gotta get in and get out, you gotta, you know, it's like, it's like Black Friday. You gotta get in, buy your stuff and leave. You don't have time to really dilly dally and you, you don't have that kind of time. So for now, this will be my go-to Oktoberfest beer until I, Fine otherwise. Um, so yeah, so for now, yes, I will recommend it for, um, I will be buying it again. And all right, that is the review of Goose Island Oktoberfest. Have you had this one? Have you had it this year? Um, if you've had it over multiple years, do you notice like a substantial difference? Does it seem like it's getting better? Do you like a different year? Um, let me know, because usually a lot of these beers, they kind of tweak and alter just a little bit. Plus it's not, you know, they don't produce it year round, so you're obviously gonna usually have a little bit of a difference. Um, <coughs> but um, yes, yeah, so let me know in the comments. If you like, subscribe, if you like and stuff. Um, subscribe to the Instagram thing at Two Dudes and Six Pack. Uh, in the near future, we'll be going on like live beer hunts getting mixers for specialty videos and um so then you can comment and give me your two cents and all that stuff so um if you could do that I'd like to build up some of that following so by the time i start doing the uh the live videos get some back and forth between people but um so yeah that is the review and so for myself and for goose island oktoberfest take it easy